Hi Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind this is going to be a general love singles reading, so some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Um, all right, you guys. So I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone who became a member today in my channel. I'm super grateful. That was a lot of fun today in the live stream earlier, or uh, if you're listening to this on Monday, uh, yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> all right you guys so let's get into the singles reading and see what's going on here you've got photograph that is so crazy because Virgo before I started when I was shuffling I saw this in my mind and here it is so someone's looking at your photos there is someone here who's missing you or is nostalgic wants to make new memories with you and Virgo some of you you know roles could be reversed this could be you uh, letting go of someone but missing someone um, you know the energy can play out both ways as usual but let's take a look and see what else is going on here okay we have some jumpers today okay you've got palm tree stability security permanence growth endurance flexibility uh, maybe someone who lives in an area where there's palm trees is looking at your photos or keeping an eye on you or it's not really keeping an eye on you personally it just feels like there is someone here who's missing you and I know you're single you're like come on <laughs> you don't want to hear that but maybe you do okay um, <clears throat> heart with a key welcoming love meeting the one opening your heart getting together and perfect oh virgo i can just tell you what okay um all right you're single right virgo listen i gotta give the message i, I feel like there's someone right now who is they're missing you and they're looking at your photos thinking of you i don't know what that means if someone has a photo of you or if you have a photo somewhere you know this doesn't have to be someone you've recently broken up with this could be someone from years ago um for some of you i feel like this person realizes that they've met the one for them um and uh, they they want to open up your heart they want to bring that key and get together listen virgo I'm, I'm just the messenger. Don't get angry with me. <laughs> this is not what you want to hear. But I feel like there's someone here. Um, they're, be, they're very flexible right now. And I feel like they're seeking stability and security and, and long-term growth, permanence with you. Okay. Um, but this is somebody, if they're missing you, you've known them from before. Okay, Virgo. <clears throat> you've known them but from before. All right, let's, I want to take a look and see what other messages. Ooh, did you hear that? That was a loud squeak. All right, I want to see what the romance angels have to say, Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. You know, generally when I do these singles readings, it's, we're looking at who's coming towards you. But it looks to me, it's like someone coming towards you from before. It is safe for you to love. Open in your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all Virgo. Okay. And healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, Virgo. Somebody's coming back around. Okay, coming back around town, swinging back around your way. Um, that is who's coming towards you. And I feel like this person um, is really missing you and cannot stop thinking about you they feel like you are their true love they want to heal whatever issues were in the relationship or the family dynamic um they know that you are a safe person and um i just feel like you know they want to receive everything that you have to offer and give in return right um okay let's see what else is going on here virgo Okay. Four of Pentacles. So this is a card of possessiveness or possession. Someone here not letting go or refuses to let you go. Okay. Um, now that doesn't have to be a you problem. That could be a they problem. Okay. But this is basically someone who desires long-term security in a relationship, especially with you. Okay. This person, look, 
they view you as the empress which is like she is the queen she is the empress is like the queen of all the queens she is all the queens mixed into one you can switch it masculine or feminine of course but i mean this person sees you as such a good person beautiful handsome aesthetically pleasing nurturing um natureful um someone who uh, is just the brightest beginning that they've ever had in their life i feel like this person knows or sees your value and that is why there's like a protection energy that this person kind of wants to like put you in their pocket and keep you there forever not in a negative way more like in a like you are my person kind of thing all right i don't know what happened in your past situation with someone that you connected with you might be a mother to their children or a father you might be a parent co-parent with them for some of you i mean i feel like this person they look at other people that they have connected with and no one holds a candle to you and they know this right and i mean it's very sweet it really is I, I just feel like i don't know what the heck is going on i don't know why this person is missing you right now there's some type of nostalgia where they're thinking about you and um really appreciating or valuing you for who you are um what you what you brought so if you're looking for consolation virgo this is definitely your reading if not to return back to someone but just to kind of say to yourself wow you know this is validation of some sort that for whatever reason whatever might have happened this person sees that they maybe were in the wrong about something i don't know exactly what happened i don't know exactly um if they want to bring stability and long-term endurance and security perhaps they weren't bringing that before okay so yeah i'm kind of a i just i just get a sense that this like i just get a feeling that this person doesn't want to let go or lose you and they like they're not even open to anybody else here they're deflecting other people or another person okay now i just saw real quick the queen of swords so i guess it popped in but it popped out and i feel like that's a message that if there was a connection with um another person in their life that was fleeting popped out popped back in it was fleeting so i'm going to acknowledge this minimally because this doesn't hold much weight to me um i feel like whoever they were connecting with before um or for a fleeting amount of time um gave them some hardcore truth about something and they shut it down okay so we're just going to put that there Okay, male or female energy. I just feel like they shut it down. Now, could it be um, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius? Absolutely. Okay. Um, but it doesn't have to be. The Queen of Swords comes through as someone who is very honest. And this is basically an energy of someone who um, is kind of anti-love. You know, they're so independent and a bit cold um, that, I mean if you were to come across this person yourself you probably wouldn't feel safe to open up to them because they're holding a sword and it's basically like saying come here so i can cut you um i don't know that could be someone that they were connecting with before and they just felt like oh my gosh this person's just going to cut my throat if i say anything or do anything i feel like your person there's a comparison happening here whoever your person is is comparing and looking back on you and kind of like wow virgo was gold virgo was gold okay look at all the gold here with the empress and all this wheat down here you know um sustenance and i've never seen that before in this card even 
even what the Empress is sitting on, like soft and cushioned and comfortable, I feel like there's something here this person sees that there was a comfort that they experienced with you, um, a softness that they experienced with you that maybe Virgo doesn't often show, but they, they saw it and they felt it at one point. And um, they're remembering that. Now, Virgo, I understand that unless this person comes forward, comes correct, or opens up and gives truth and is truly authentic and humble, then there probably isn't going to be a chance that you're going to accept anyone from the past back. And I don't blame you for that. And if it's your decision at the end of the day that, you know, you don't want to resurrect something, um, even if this person is going through what they're going through, it's your call, Virgo. But the message that I'm giving here, as you being a single person, some of you need to, I feel like acknowledge this past thing so that perhaps you can let it go if you are intent on moving forward, okay? Um, some of you might just need to feel like, you know, um, you take accountability for your role in a relationship, but some of you might have taken more blame. Um, blame that wasn't really yours to take accountability for, okay? And some of you need to probably release and say, you know, I didn't do those things that this person accused me of doing. Um, and I see that now and they see that now and that's good. That's a good thing for them. And it's good for you because for some of you, you might be able to take that now and just say, you know, it's done. Let me just move on. Not going to hold a grudge, not going to be resentful, just to move on. Good for you. Be better for the next person. Some of you might be in that energy while others of you, um, I am going to take a look at you, but others of you, I, I don't know. I just kind of feel like that's the, the whole message. All right. They're wanting to take a look at you. Okay. So here's the Queen of Pentacles. All right, Virgo. It looks like you're ready to start a new chapter here in your life. Now, new chapter with this person or a new chapter as a single person and moving on. It can go either way. I feel like some of you... Um, might be kind of on this decision route right now like should I allow this person to come back in and should we try again or is it too late and I move on I feel like you're kind of I, I look here at you as the queen of pentacles and I kind of feel like you are looking down there at your pentacle and you're just kind of like hmm trying to seek answers some of you might be getting tarot card readings or trying to decide should you move on with someone else or should you uh, not or should you just stay put I always feel like Virgo when you're in doubt don't do anything and let let spirit let, let God bring to you what's meant for you because whatever is meant for you isn't going to pass you by and what is won't uh, w will pass you by so let me see the world what's going on here with you Virgo okay hmm All right, you're definitely need, uh, seeking stability. You're definitely closing out one chapter going forward or desiring uh, to put your roots down somewhere, to be stable, to have that security. And this can be a card of marriage or long-term relationship. You know, you're, uh, if there's anything I can say for you, Virgo, whoever's listening, that it may resonate for, that this, this is your goal here. This is your goal, okay? The Ten of Pentacles is always, always about leaving some kind of a legacy of some sort or inheriting um, all the good things that life has to offer and um, being able to transfer yourself into that position. But the question is, is this person just missing you and wanting to reconnect but not willing to go forward? I do feel like they want to try to bring that security and stability to you. Okay, <laughs> some of you, I mean, I, I can't, I don't know. I'm just going to have to keep playing it out and see what happens here because I'm not exactly sure if you've really made a final decision. Okay, you're definitely stressing a little here. You're in some anxiety. You're having some dreams. Um, there's conflict. This is a card of conflict. Look at those two people there, sword fighting. Um, there's conflict here. 
Some of you have been in your bed a lot more than you should be, right? You've worn away the, the, the threads and the colors on your sheets, stressing, uh, tossing and turning at night. Uh, and you're not at the Ten of Swords here yet, so that means you haven't fully surrendered. I feel like you're kind of like what you sh asking yourself what you should do, um, whether this person comes back or not, okay? Um, <clears throat> But I feel like um, you will get your answer. I feel like you will know what to do. I, I, I just feel like you need to get some sleep, Virgo. You need to get some rest and not worry your mind with these things. Because cross bridges when you get to it, when you get to them, I feel like that's that, that's the, the source of de-stressing. Don't worry about and don't stress. Don't have anxiety about things that have not even occurred just yet. Uh, leave things be for now. I feel like you're, yeah, you will get a message <laughs> and you will have a light bulb moment. You will get, um, whether that's a message from this person or um, a, a, a downloaded message through spirit that comes to you, which tells you you will know what to do. And this is kind of like asking for a sign. And I do feel like you need to do that. Ask for a sign if you are not sure which direction to go. Look at you here, juggling. Uh, should I do this or should I do that? Should I do this or should I do that? Yeah. Okay, Virgo. So uh, let it be for now. This is how I feel. Now, is this person going to come towards Virgo and, and really give this good college try to make something happen here? Okay. So this is somebody who is definitely making plans. Um And this is someone who is waiting for the right time to um, make this decision to come towards you. Um, let me see. This could be about traveling. Okay, yeah, it's not the right time right now. Um, I'm hearing they're waiting until they, they see you appear. Um, some of you might have ghosted this person, either initially or in return. Um, and they don't really know where you are. And I feel like that's why they're trying to stay connected to you by thoughts of you or images in their head of you or um, photos of you. Um, because this person is, they can't come towards a ghost. You can't come towards a ghost because a ghost doesn't exist, right? So right now you're out of sight, out of mind in the real world. Um, but they're trying to put you back into their mind. They're, they're just longing to um, connect with you. It feels like, um, like, it feels like this person feels like you guys are still connected. Um, not, not here on earth, but like, what's the word I want to use? You guys know the word, um, like energetically. Okay. Um, but when you, I feel like when uh, the message they're giving me is when you appear, you know, it's crazy because I'm looking at this snake right here as I'm talking to you and a snake is about shedding skin and transforming and having, um, uh, transforming into something better. Okay. This person, um, is wondering if you've changed or, or if you've, if you've shed something, if you've shed some skin or something, uh, it feels like when they, it feels like when they, they find this out, when they see this, something different about you, um, better then I feel like they, they will make these plans to come towards you, to come into some type of partnership, to make that decision to reach out. Okay. So we've got the King of Cups here. So this person, uh, yeah, very patient. King of Cups is very patient, very tolerant, doesn't rush, barely even moves. I think if the King of Cups makes any move, it's just dipping their toe in the water just a tad bit, you know, very still. You see all the cement, the cement, uh, very stable, very rock solid, uh, doesn't really move, okay? Doesn't make any kind of move, waiting, patiently waiting to see if you're going to appear. Um, that I feel like will be the catalyst for this person to come towards you. So yeah, appear in the spotlight, <laughs> be out into the open. Okay. 
Um, Virgo, you know, um, it feels the message to me is um, if this is something that you want with this person, it feels like you would have to um, initiate conversation um, to get the ball rolling. That is the message. I am not telling you to do that. I don't know if you should or you shouldn't. I just feel like what the energy is I'm picking up here to induce action and change, because um, I don't feel like this person is really going to approach, so to speak, um, because they don't, they, they, they I don't know. I don't feel like they feel like they would be rejected or anything like that. Um, oh, okay. They just said um, they're respecting your space. They're respecting you, your space. Um, even if they were the ones that ended it with you, Virgo, um, by you not reaching out to them and you not pursuing them, um, they're respecting that. Whether it was verbalized or just actionized if that's a word actualized just just showing that okay um i'm respecting your space you're respecting mine but at the same time you're both respecting all the space of each other yet at least from this person's point of view it looks like they don't want that space they want that closeness okay um let me see what's going on here so that star is like renewal hope and healing yeah, there's a blocking that's going on here. Somebody's blocking someone. You probably are doing that or you're kind of like gone within. You're not saying anything. You're just kind of like dukes are up. You know, you've got your arms crossed. Um, you're not letting anyone in. I feel like they see that or they, they're, they're aware of that to some degree. Um, oh, this is complicated, Virgo. <laughs> this is complicated because I know that... Um, you're not going to chase someone. And I, I, I wouldn't say uh, initiation is chase, so to speak. Chasing is more along the lines of like you're doing 100 miles an hour after somebody. I don't feel like initiating a talk or a conversation is a chase. But understand something that when I, the, the caveat to this is that if you feel like this person that they're missing you now because something has ended um but if you feel like this was not a relationship that was healthy for you then none of this should matter and you should just keep pressing on and as a matter of fact um i am gonna kind of segue into more of who might be coming towards you new but i do feel like who is coming toward you as being single is this person okay um and the court cards we do have, I will say, is the Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. Okay, um, so let us leave that there because I, I do feel like this this there is going to be somebody coming in here, like someone that knew you from before. Let's take a look. Okay, there's the Ace of Cups. Okay, so there is new love on the horizon. Okay, and there will be communication coming towards you, not just from one person, but offers. Okay, as far as new coming in now let's see um, all right you've got the three of wands okay so there is some communication from other people I'm hearing across the water um, so if you are across the Atlantic across the Pacific big bodies of water small bodies of water might be kind of a long distance thing there will be some type of communication this has to do with like travel and um, some uh, travel news, definitely travel for a new love to start for some of you. That energy plays out here. And um, you might have like some, um, I, I'm just feeling like distance between two people. So someone from afar, a lot of communication. So what does that mean that you're like, I don't know, sending um, paper love letters to each other or emails or texts, um, that kind of energy. So there, uh, I knew the Queen of Cups was going to show up. I knew it. I saw that. I keep seeing all these cards in my head before they pop out, and I said I knew it. Um, <laughs> they keep bringing me back. Okay, this could be a brand new potential love start with a Queen of Cups. That's Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But understand... For some of you, they may just be giving me a continuation of the same person, 
okay uh virgo if this isn't your reading just click off if you don't want to hear this just click off if this is something that you're like yes i want healing in our relationship on both sides then this is going to be for you okay um just now i understand like some of you who are single you could be in between or separated with someone okay um and deeming yourself single at this time um okay but for others there is definitely uh somebody new you could be communicating with going forward wow a whole bunch of cards just flipped out here let's see okay we've got strength the three of cups and nine of cups and justice okay courage to uh come back together um make a wish happen and make things right that's that that listen virgo the messages come out the way they come out leo energy libra the messages come out the way they come out uh somebody getting the self-confidence here to um try to have some type of reunion with you definitely and you know virgo i don't know why i feel the need i mean this for a lot of you this could be such positive news and it, and it really could be for many of you and for others of you i guess it's because i see a lot of you in the chat who often are like i don't want that person back i don't want that person back and you guys you know i always say and i will say this again bloody stumps i mean it you know whether you want someone back or not is really irrelevant it's how people show up in your life and it's how you show up in somebody else's life are you being the best version of yourself you could be and if you think you are well then you've done what you can do but if you don't know that you have been the best version of yourself and this other person has not been is there a chance for you guys to have healing and and work from your strengths ra rather than your weaknesses absolutely things can be healed of course but you both have to want it it's not just one person you both have to sit down and and come into agreement with one another and have that mutual desire to want something to go forward so even if somebody and i'm kind of going against what i usually say but even if somebody does show up with a bloody stump you have to be willing to do the same in return for something to work okay um no matter what no matter how imperfect people are when we love we love fully right but when someone is deceptive cheating they're lying or they're along um living in maladaptive behavior the likelihood of that healing is it's minimal it is the exception to the rule okay so i feel like i need to say to you trust but yet verify you can trust but you need to verify that's that's the overall message okay so let's see if we can get a little bit of clarity as far as physical features of who this person is that's coming in or uh who's missing you i want to say okay so they're definitely tattooed okay whether that's one tattoo or a hundred all right let's see what else okay there's a person with red hair sorry i didn't show that to you there's someone with red hair also someone with a beard and i thought i had a oh yeah and someone with a mustache a mustache you a question can we work things out <laughs> okay what else how else is this person showing up all right quite slender this person is quite slender Okay. medium length hair and or long hair they could have got a haircut or they could have um, got some extensions uh, let's see what else okay so we do have someone who is muscular works out maybe you and this person uh, worked out together um, or you were both on uh, the same you're on the same gelling together with that okay and one more please for physical features for virgo this person who is missing them who it is 
okay and could be plus size all right and let's just get to see who's new what the physical feature of the person new coming in is going to look like are you how you will identify brand new brand new all right that wanted to flip but it didn't okay all right brand new has a piercing whether that's the lips the nose the ear or anywhere else okay one or a hundred, I don't know. Piercings or piercing. One more. I just want to get one more. Okay. Oh, man bun. <laughs> okay, man bun. Man bun it is. All right, let me see what the Amira Love Oracle message is here for you. And then I'm going to close out your reading. And if you need a personal reading with me, become a member of my channel and you can show up in my live stream chat on Sundays and I will pull cards for you. you can ask anything you want okay you've got young male showing up here again sporty cars youthful okay uh, so the person could be youthful or a young person okay there are some of you this is just your twin flame oh yeah yeah <laughs> it's your twin flame spiritual alignment effortless or karmic okay you guys might have gone through a very karmic or um, struggle situation in a twin flame relationship okay both not ascended fully okay and someone may also have children or there is a childlike innocent fun um, energy around this person or you guys when you were together or when you are together all right um these are not really okay yeah fun times short term quick fling and quick fling endings and time and destiny okay so i do feel like there might have been um the best part of the relationship before was that it was a lot of there was a lot of fun attached to it but it was quick it ended it was timed <clears throat> but it was meant to be and i feel like that's why it's coming around again i feel like that's it's an energetic thing um a very difficult thing to separate from and i don't really feel i can tell you that if this is a twin flame relationship which it looks like there really has never been a separation between two people it's just always these timeouts okay these timeouts these these you know because of the lessons that needed to be learned by both and usually with the twin flame lesson it's it's all about ego on both sides breaking the egos to come together because uh, it, it, they just don't go together yeah all the obstacles the biggest obstacle i feel like for both is blocks pathways delays had to do more with the ego than anything else the stubborn ego okay very passionate connection for sure chemistry passionate feeling can't keep away from each other for some weird reason oh well, i wouldn't say it's weird i guess it's just because it does that's it feels like it's a twin flame thing you know and um s listen not everyone is built for a twin flame relationship uh, they break you down. They can break you down until you guys reach that place where where you become so humbled by life and 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 realize that you're both meant to be together. The ego can. I always feel, and some people may agree with this. Um, you know, I'm not the end all be all to the twin flame uh, truth of everything. I mean, you can get my twin flame ebook. <laughs> it's below in the description box. It's a quick read. It's only eleven dollars. If you want more clarity on that but i will say that twin flame relationships are difficult because they do bring you to yourself you know they basically bring you to god you know when we look at the lovers i'm not going to show it here because it's x-rated but you know the lovers is is basically about you know looking up at spirit like it's spirit infused twin flame is just meant for each other meant to be so it's a difficult thing and i know a lot of you just don't want to it's just it's not for everyone only certain people are built to see that through and i feel like if you are um you've been struggling and it's been hard but your heart is where your heart is and um i feel like if you're not able to do it 
or for whatever reason, um, it's it's difficult to let go. I mean, the person will always be in your heart, but you know there are other people out there in your life that you can connect with, and there is an opportunity for somebody new coming in for sure. Um, where you know another blessed kind of union. I don't necessarily feel like that's going to be your twin flame, and I do feel like it will be probably not as tumultuous and satisfying, but it will be peaceful. <laughs> right? Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave your singles reading. This did not turn out the way I expected. I kind of had it in my mind that we would just start with a beautiful new beginning for you and, and possibly somebody coming in. Do I feel like you are ready for um, something new? I feel like no, but you might be forcing yourself to do that. And that might just be something you need to do. Okay. Um, so I'm going to leave that there. Again, if you want to book a reading with Casey, he is available um, whatever hours that you need. And I will be bringing somebody else on uh, very soon. So um, we're going to have a male and a female. So you'll be able to choose. And if you want to have a, a mini personal reading with me, yours truly only, just become a member of my channel here. You can hit the join button and then pop in on Sundays, the live streams. You can ask any questions you want. All right. Real big fat shout out to the moderators. You guys have been with me for such a long time. And I just want to say, I am so grateful to each and every one of you personally, um, for being here every single night, being here on Sunday. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing people. I don't think I've ever seen such a dedicated team of moderators. And you guys are so kind to everyone in the chat. And so uh, just, I'm impressed. I'm so impressed. And I've been doing this for a very long time. And you guys are just simply amazing. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys back here on Monday for your um, everyday one hour reading. All right, you guys. Love you. Have a great night.